This is called flight delay. She knows who God is. She's a musical genius in tune with her inner goddess, super conscious, soul sister. Only when she pursues the knowledge is she ever labeled a gold digger, gold figure. Wealthy mind. The king inside is the richest to be alive. She loves me like he is I. I'm not really surprised. These other dudes got the juice. I got that water that Yeshua turned to wine. That's how it is when you're naturally mature. And you mature so naturally because you're pure. I flow different. My glow mimics 7 a.m. clear skies. I bring a heavenly shine. They bring that I'm for the iPhone glow with the fake ass. Good morning, queen. Text at 544. Knowing damn well, in a year, it'll stop. Next year, she becomes a memory, a mere thought. That I would pay a penny for and make a billion of them back. In dollars, that's 10 million to be exact. Calculate the real cost, they got dementia, so now their memory is a real loss. Overall, I think it's stupid how a woman is a queen depending on what your mood is. People always say it is what it is, but does that mean what it means? If you don't see what I see, I believe in her and she believes in me like an unmistakable fate. The strength of our union like playing basketball against unshakable fate from an unexplainable place with unavailable space for hate. <laughs> Another reason I adore her, she learns from the mistakes of the women I had before her. She's attentive to the details, so it's extremely rare that she's jealous of other females. She understands me. She knows her worth and my commitment. She knows that if you're not a nerd and you follow the herd, you already lost my interest. A fat ass and a gorgeous face alone is not convincing. If any set of eyes can visit, then it's commonplace. My queen reminds me of the beach because that's a calming place that... I would rather be. So I don't need to bring sand to a beach. I bring beach to another land and not just any beach. It's a beach from my motherland and not just any motherland, my African motherland. Yeah. She's original. Feeds my soul without the GMOs. Hair natural, life so spiritual that our love language evolved beyond speakable. <laughs> Stimulating mind, energetic body. Cause I prefer my women like my coffee. Strong, black, no secret ingredients, no creamer, no artificial sweetness, just raw honey. And a splash of chocolate almond milk. I call it melanated silk. Hourglass waist, diamond cut abs, chun li thighs with a bubble ass. The product of squats and a healthy diet. How do I sleep at night? With my face beside it. I'm kidding. <laughs> but for real, her physique is undoubtedly fit. Fit for a king, me. I feel free when I'm with her. I can breathe when I'm with her. I achieve when I'm with her. I'm vulnerable when I'm with her. Cause a rose that doesn't wither in the winter is not real with her. Her intimacy is authentic cause she's all in it and I'm all in it so it's awesome. But I just think numerically it's tree sin when two pretends to be one. For economics and political gimmicks, gotta fake it till you make it, I get it, yeah. Some people choose the bucks over trust, putting trust in the bucks, but bucks cannot buy back trust because the value is high. Otherwise, your trust is cheap. I need a queen with a trust that's deep, deep as mine, deep as her mind to earn my trust. She spends time. Gotta have a bank full of fucks to give for any time that we fuss. And thank God we don't argue, we discuss. Till our words melt to a kiss, then a touch, then it drips to a grip which simmers into lust. Menage a trois with Mary Jane. With respect to the nut, not the blunt, we ask, can a bus, can a bus gush? 
Like a vanilla frappuccino with a sweet flow Orgasmic spasms like machine guns blasting And that wasn't even makeup sex Just a made up mesh of passion and compassion Her sexual compliments and glances are genius She doesn't hesitate to advance them It's easy to leave your man sexually abandoned Ladies, frequently tell him that he's sexually attractive my queen is sewing to me like a sewing machine. Her love is high fashion. She has nothing to prove, but queen recognized queen, so my mother approves. And her mother approves is cool. With the domestic abuse, the drug use, and the family views, the attitude to dismantle my group is systematic. So if black lives matter, the black family matters too. These days, Couples want to build an empire, but it's cliche. I don't feel it. Too many people want to rule the world. Me and my queen just want to heal it. We want to heal ourselves. We think different, but share the same interests. Even share my last name to make it official. The decision was simple. In fact, it was transcendental. Now check. There's a female obsession over a man's potential. Y'all start making ultimatums to try to change him instead of accepting who he is, y'all get mad resentful. Like loving him for two years was accidental. I'm just saying, I don't need your love if it's sacrificial. Yeah. It's just a form of vanity, is that essential? Don't suffer to bring me happiness. In the end, it'll be myself that I'm unhappy with. I told her, don't change for me, change for you. She started stripping all of her lies and became the naked truth. I need to know what she's made of without the makeup, the raw data. It's major that I appreciate the being she became and the infinite creator that she came from. Yo, black men just need to love their woman for who she is, not what she does. So I practice this consciously, constantly as a policy. She loves my prints, but I don't mean photography. Being a single black father gets harder every year because I can't love him like his mama. Sometimes it's discouraging how hypermasculinity disabled me from being more nurturing and getting closer to my son like Mercury. So I can say I love you wordlessly. Instead of cursing them out, I'm breaking family curses. But when I'm feeling uncertain, the reassurance for my queen is the insurance that the discipline is worth it. Her feminine energy makes her sensitive to my sensitivity. Anything less don't make sense to me. I'm not high and mighty at all, but if being savage is the norm, I'm highly evolved. With great talents, fertilizing a great marriage, manufactured by having to be a great package. See, this life is temporary. So we got a library of itineraries, literary with this international paper. So many dead presidents, our bankroll is a cemetery. Much yeah. respect to Obama, we went to Ghana just so we could see black presidents on our dollars. Then it was meditation in Tibet to reset. Then we took a vacation to commit, reconnect with the ancient wisdom and the sacred knowledge. Journey to Brazil, sipping ayahuasca from a shaman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that experience was existential. Like me massaging her temples by Mayan temples. Took a shot in Tokyo after riding a bullet train. Now our passports have more tattoos than Lil Wayne. Wow. But we're really homebodies. Attitude is humble, the lifestyle is lofty. We know we're not perfect, but we're working on it. Except, I haven't really met her yet. <laughs> Thank y'all. Master. John Skywalker.